defined it as government of the people, by the people, and for the people. In Nigeria, we have made effort to run this country democratic lines since colonial times. But unfortunately for us, the first republic lasted only six years, from 1960 to 1966. After we had that rude interruption that disrupted the beautiful work that was going on for the transformation of Nigeria under the late Sadana, under the late Aolo, under the late President Dr. Nabia Tijewe, under the late Safa Balewa. These leaders, along with other leaders of the fourth generation, they gave Nigeria first class leadership. First class leadership. So that of 1966 was a tragedy for the people of Nigeria. It was very, very tragic. After that, we had 13 years of military rule and we fought a bitter civil war and lost one million people. Now we returned the country to civil rule in 1979 only for it to be rudely interrupted in 1983 by the other Again, that interruption was very sad for the development of our country. Because if you take a look at what was happening in the Second Republic, this nation was being developed. Our leaders were foreign, the political parties were working. And I believe that if the war of 1983 didn't take place, Nigeria would have been very, very far now in terms of development. Between that period, we now had a long period of military intervention. It was only in 1999 that we were able to return again to stable governance. Between 1999 and now, it's 13 years. This is the first time Nigeria is being ruled by constitutional government for 13 years continuously. Now, if you look at the interruption in our governance process, you can see clearly why this nation has not developed as fast as it should have developed. India was able to move faster than us because Nigeria has witnessed effort at democratic governance, elected leaders, and voting for them. And what we have seen in the last 30 years, the chief servant, it's not just about dividends, it's about normal way of governing society. For the first time, we now have governors who came in and those who have left before their tenure is finished. During the little rule, once they are there, only another one can overthrow you. Now we know that we can vote in people. We can vote them out. This process is good for the liberty and freedom of the people of Nigeria. But democracy is not just about elections. It must be about development, about actions to uplift the living standard of people. And we believe that in the last 13 years, and also particularly in the last two years, there has been a lot of effort to develop Nigeria. But because democracy is about disagreement, between politicians. Because it's a, it's, it's, it's a process where different parties come and there is a constitutional opposition. Everywhere there is democracy, you will have quarrels and politicians. There will be disputes. This one believes he can do it better than the one sitting on the seat. The one on the seat believes he can do it better than those opposing him. That is the future of democracy. But however you look at democracy, the quarrel is always about the job for the people. And that is what we want in Nigeria. In the last 13 years, there has been tremendous progress in our country. Let me say that we cannot say that it's now a bed of roses. No, Nigeria has a long way to go. But let me also tell you that we have witnessed tremendous progress. In all the 36 states of the Federation, for example, we now have in northern Nigeria almost every state running in the past. It was never the case under military rule. And on this visit, for example, we went to IPV University. That's what I'm coming to. And IPV University, when we went there with the journalists, we were happy with the structure that we saw at the Brian Babenga University at Lambay. We saw faculties being developed, we saw road infrastructure, and we also saw hostels, and we saw an academic program that is evolving for the transformation of the people of Nigeria State. Let me call on the chief server to make that university a number one priority because university is the future of this state. So this democracy has brought it about and we are seeing the progress we are making. Your governor is a scholar, is also a, a, a technocrat, a citizen technocrat. And therefore we believe that his leadership of this state is not by accident. God has designed him to do something for you. And for 
what we saw in the last three days, I believe that it's a good program of ground for the transformation of the people of Niger State. I will mention a few areas. We went to the Yaradua Musa or Omar Musa Yaradua Hospital. That hospital is a modern hospital. I took journalists to every place from the old building. And I believe that the program for health for Niger State, if from that hospital we saw and you replicate it in other places, take the health, the, the health and well-being of the people of Niger State to be promoted. We appreciate what we saw with that hospital. Now from the hospital, we also saw quite a few projects belonging to Niger State government. I give you an example. That is what we call the World Development Committee, which is about grants. The World Development Committee and goals, each of the electoral votes in the state has a development committee and one million dollars is given to them every month to do projects. We visited some of the projects. The idea is beautiful. If you can carry the grassroots with you, it will help the development of the state. So we visited some of the health units and uh, it is good that some of them are building clinics and so on. in Patamora, which is about 250 housing units. Those housing units are good. The first contract did not perform, but the second contract seems to be performing, and some units are ready. Let me say that we should continue with your housing program. We were told that about 500 houses have already been delivered here in Milan, and that other houses are going to be delivered. Chief servants, housing is a problem in Nigeria. We must do everything to keep our people decent houses. And I think to develop houses is a very good program for the development of the state. Now, there is a small local government project we saw in Potagora, which was a road project that goes from Potagora County up to the Federal College of Education Potagora. Let me commend the local government for that effort. But I am told that in each local government here, there is a fence to look at road project that the state government in partnership with the local government is constructing to make that easier at the grassroots. Again, I believe grassroots development is very important for the transformation of any state. If local governments can get their money and use that money and plan to develop local markets, local clinics, you know, local hospitals and road network, I believe that we will develop faster. So local governments have a duty to perform. We live in a three-tier system of government. And I believe if every tier can do its duty, we will be moving in the right direction. We also saw a number of roads in Minas that have been dualized under the leadership of uh, the chief servants. It is good because Mina is over 100 years now. And we believe that Mina, 102 years, it is time for it to have a modern place. It has produced two former heads of states, and I believe that another government on the throne should be able to give me that a very, very important place in the development of this state. So the chief government, 